Are you feeling exhausted, depleted, overwhelmed, and that your life needs more order as a Catholic woman? Are you at a point in your life where you need transformation and restoration in your soul? Do you have dreams for your life, but in the midst of raising children, studying, or pursuing a career, these dreams have gone underground? You don't even know what your gifts or your strengths are anymore. I'm Karen Doyle, and I have been walking closely with women and leading Catholic women's ministry for over 20 years. And and in this time, I've been fortunate enough to walk with women in Australia, the United States, the United Kingdom and New Zealand. And I have seen up close the devastating impact on not only women, but those around them when women are not living the fullness of who God created them to be. I tell you, there is nothing more devastating than watching a woman who is held back because of fear, a lack of confidence and self-belief. They're stuck in their own life. A woman who can't even see her own potential because of the negative mindsets and lies which she has taken as truth. Women who are merely surviving and sleepwalking through their own lives. Is this you? I wonder if you can relate. You know what? I've been there and I know that feeling and that feeling that you know something needs to change but that you don't know how of being stuck in negative patterns and feeling like there must be more to life than the mundane grind of every day. But you know what? I have also experienced the breakthrough that happens when you put in place some very simple routines and rhythms that will actually bring order to your life so you can operate from a place of greater peace rather than chaos. You see, when we allow Christ to shape and rewrite some of the negative mindsets that we have taken as truth, well, we realize that we've been living a set of lies for far too long. Ladies, you have a God in heaven who delights in you. He calls you his beloved and he wants nothing more than your wholeness. He wants to reveal to you those areas of your life that need renewing so that you can be transformed, but not just transformed for your sake, but so you can be sent back into your sphere of influence, whether that's raising babies, working in the professional space, or in ministry. God wants you to live in the fullness of who he's created you to be. John Paul II said that when women are not living this fullness, the world is impoverished. But do you know what? God isn't just asking you to do that randomly. He needs you to be an active participant in your own life. St. Augustine said, he who created you without your cooperation, he's not gonna save you without your cooperation. St. Joan of Arc said, act and God will act. You see, I don't believe in accidents in God's kingdom. So if you're watching this video, then perhaps this is God's invitation to you today. You see, we all have this ceiling that kind of sits over our head. And some people are happy to stay that way. But Pope Benedict said you were not made for comfort. You were made for greatness. And there is something inside all of us that wants to be more, that wants to reach the fullness of who God has created us to be. To live less than that, that's living a life that's half lived. And to live that way just creates so much anxiety and tension. Because when we know we're not living our life, then we get frustrated. But I know that if you do the work and break through that ceiling, there is incredible fulfillment, satisfaction and joy. How do I know this? Because I've been there. I've experienced the breakthrough that happens when we take inventory of our own lives, what's working, what's not working, and then intentionally making changes rather than reacting, responding with intention. I know that feeling of going to bed and waking up the next day only to do the same thing over and over again. Looking in the mirror, wondering where on earth my dreams went, wondering what my gifts were anymore, and wondering if there's more to life, more to who I am as a Catholic woman. Well, here's the thing, ladies. You are not supposed to sleepwalk through your own life. Can I ask you a question that perhaps no one's asked you before? Are you actually living the fullness of the life God has given to you? Are you stepping out with purpose and confidence, knowing why you're here? If not, then I would love to invite you to join us in the upcoming Genius Project Masterclass for Catholic Women. Walking through a mastermind group with an experienced mentor and strategist changed everything for me. I was still honoring my primary vocation as a wife and mother, but now I was using my gifts and you know what? It felt really good. Because I had invested in myself and I had filled my cup, I actually then had something to give those around me. 
And here's the thing, ladies, we cannot give what we do not possess. You cannot help your children to soar if you haven't first overcome your own limitations. You can't champion the unique and unrepeatable gifts in other women if you don't know what yours are, because you'll end up being threatened by other women, or even worse, you'll seek to tear them down. I know what it can be like to really step into your gifts and your mission, who you really are. I know I feel fully alive when I'm living in this place. And we've all heard that quote that says, the glory of God is man or woman fully alive. Don't you want to bring glory to God through your life? I know I do. One of the crucial steps for me was actually being in a mastermind group where as a group we journeyed through a masterclass with a strategist and mentor as our guide. This was absolutely invaluable. I've done heaps of online courses before, but the mastermind gave me the encouragement, the motivation and the accountability to really do the work, the deep work of restoration, so that I could get the breakthrough, the transformation that I really wanted and I needed. And now I am so excited to be able to bring to you the Genius Project Masterclass. We're going to be deep diving into things like our negative mindsets, establishing rhythms and routines of renewal that will bring order and calm to your routine and helping you identify your unique gifts and dreams and strategize about how you can activate those. All of this done under the gaze of the Holy Spirit. More than just another personal development program, this masterclass is unique and it is especially designed for Catholic women. It is deeply grounded in authentic Catholic teaching and biblical principles, and it is designed with you in mind. I know that life can get in the way. We've got kids, things can be expensive, but I want to ask you, what would it cost for you not to do this? I mean, seriously, for me, I went years before I actually did something. My life had to get to the place where it was almost unbearable to myself, where I was in chaos and overwhelmed and I just couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't continue down that path because I was becoming someone that I actually didn't like in the process. I actually got to the point one day where my son said to me, Mum, you used to be really happy and fun and now you're cranky and stressed all the time. And it really hit me hard. That's not who I am and that's not the life that God has given me. And I thought, you know, I don't want my kids to grow up before I start making changes in who I am and how I'm living. So what would it cost you not to do this? Think about how you're living right now, how you're operating as a woman, a wife, a mother, a sister, a friend, a career woman. Can you handle living like that for another year, another two years, another five years, another 10 years? Because the good news is you don't have to if you don't want to. It's actually a choice to stay where you are. And I know from experience, that's not the life that I want. I don't want to stay being comfortable because when we grow, it's actually so fulfilling. Imagine what your life would be like if you took this masterclass, if you actually made the investment in yourself. I think one of the barriers that women face is spending money and time on themselves. They feel guilt, right? We often spend money on kids' sport and husbands' gym memberships. But when it comes to investing in ourselves, we second guess it. We second guess whether it's a worthwhile investment. But here's the thing. When we invest in ourselves, when we nurture our soul and our core relationship with Christ, then we begin to give to others in a meaningful and abundant way a way that does not leave us empty and depleted. There are limited places available as this is an intimate community of Catholic women and we're already three quarters full, which tells me this is something that women really want and need. So what do you say? Will you come and join me in this Genius Masterclass starting on April 22nd?